click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is how we can prepare carboxylic acid and based on that we are going to talk about that is how we can prepare carboxylic acid by oxidation reaction. So now let us understand that. So in this topic we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare carboxylic acid through oxidation reaction methods and that is what the oxidation reaction can be done on either aldehyde it can be done on primary alcohol or either it can be done on alkyl benzene so based on this oxidation reactions on this three reactants we can easily prepare aromatic carboxylic acid as well as aliphatic carboxylic acids so now let us discuss about that is how we can prepare carboxylic acid by the oxidation reaction on aldehyde so now in this case we are going to discuss about that is what happens if the aldehyde undergoes oxidation process so that is what i am going to write the general reaction here so that is suppose if we have considered that is r c h 2 c double bond o h so this is an aldehyde suppose if i have considered and suppose if this undergoes oxidation reaction that is in presence of that is k2 cr2 o7 and that should be an acidic condition so that's the reason that i am mentioning here that is H2SO4. So K2Cr2O7 is nothing but an oxidizing agent. So that is the reason that we can get the nascent oxygen. And when this aldehyde, it reacts with the nascent oxygen, then obviously the oxidation reaction takes place. And that is how basically we could get that is R C H2 C double bond O, which was already here. And now here will be OH. So this is nothing but the carboxylic acid but if you observe here that is there is no change of the carbon atoms uh, that is it has been converting from aldehyde to and carboxylic acid so there is no change in the number of carbon atoms so this is what the general reaction of the conversion of an aldehyde to a carboxylic acid so now let me give you an example based on this so that we could understand this general reaction much more easy so now let us discuss about the example related to this reaction Suppose if we have that is ethanol that is CH3 C double bond OH and suppose even this undergoes an oxidation and suppose if this also undergoes through an oxidation reaction that is in presence of that is K2Cr2O7 in an acidic condition that is H2SO4. So the nascent oxygen will be basically it will attack this carbon and this hydrogen over here so that is how basically the oxygen that would be add up between the carbon and the hydrogen and the product that we could get is ch3 c double bond o o h so this is nothing but acetic acid so this is how we can convert an aldehyde into a carboxylic acid so this was the reaction related to the oxidation of aldehyde and now let us move on to the next one that is oxidation of alcohol so now here we are going to discuss about what happens if the primary alcohol undergoes oxidation reaction. So for that we have a general reaction and the general reaction can be written as that is RCH2OH. This is nothing but the primary alcohol because this OH is attached to a primary carbon atom over here. So therefore this alcohol is known as primary alcohol. So whenever the primary alcohol it undergoes oxidation reaction that also in presence of the same reagent that we have used in the previous one that is K2Cr2O7. In presence of H2S4 so this will provide the nascent oxygen and that is the reason that this nascent oxygen it will react with the alcohol and this alcohol would be converted into an aldehyde that is R C double bond O H where this H O along with that of the oxygen that has been present over here so that for that would be removed in the form of that is H2 so this kind of reaction we have also did in that is in preparation of an aldehyde and this is what we have discussed in the previous lecture also. So here we have formed an aldehyde but in the previous one only or in the previous reaction we have understood that is the aldehyde can be converted into carboxylic acid. So that is how basically this aldehyde which will on further oxidation process that is also in presence of that is K2Cr2O7 in an acidic condition that is in presence of H2S4, this aldehyde will be converted into that is R C double bond OH that is nothing but carboxylic acid. So this is how basically the reaction proceeds and there is a two step process where an alcohol is being converted into an aldehyde and that aldehyde on further oxidation it will give you carboxylic acid. So here you see this was a general reaction and now let us relate it with an example. So talking about the example, suppose if we have considered
benzyl alcohol. So this benzyl alcohol went on reaction with that is K2Cr2O7 which is nothing but an oxidizing agent in presence of that is H2SO4 or in acidic condition of K2Cr2O7 obviously the next oxygen it will react with this CH2OH so because of which basically this H2O it would be removed out while this oxygen it will enter over here and that is how basically the benzyl alcohol it will be converted into benzaldehyde so now this benzaldehyde which on further oxidation it will give you a carboxylic acid so suppose if i write the reaction or if i write the further reaction where this c double bond oh is reacting with the nascent oxygen that has been provided because of that is k2cr2o7 and that also in an acidic condition so now this oxygen this nascent oxygen it will add up over here and that is how basically we could find that is a carboxylic acid so this carboxylic acid is nothing but benzoic acid. So by the previous two reactions, we can easily prepare the aliphatic as well as aromatic carboxylic acid. So this was one of the example where we have prepared an aromatic carboxylic acid. So now let us move on to the next one and that is oxidation reaction for alkyl benzene. So here we are going to discuss about that is what happens if the alkyl benzene undergoes the oxidation reaction. So for that we have a general reaction that is suppose if we consider a benzene on which we see an alkyl group that is suppose if I, in this case I have considered as R because I am discussing about the general reaction. Suppose if this undergoes an oxidation reaction but the condition that is what we have to maintain is we have to add up an oxidizing reagent. So that is how we see we are adding here that is alkaline KMnO4. Obviously, this alkaline KMnO4, it is an oxidizing agent and that is how basically this R group or this alkyl group, it will be converted into a product that is what I want to mention over here. That is, so this is a benzene that we have got over here and what this R is, this R will be converted into that is C double bond O, O, K. That is nothing but because here it will be a benzene that will be associated with that is C double bond O, O, K actually. So on reaction with an alkyl halide along with that of that is alkaline KMnO4 and that product is known as potassium benzoate. But on further reaction with that is dilute HCl. So this potassium that has been associated with this benzoate it will be removed and in that case basically the hydrogen will add up over here and that's how basically we could find that is this potassium benzoate which on reaction with dilute HCl it will be converted into that is C double bond O O H that is nothing but benzoic acid. So this is how we can convert an alkyl benzene into a benzoic acid or we could call it as carboxylic acid so this was nothing but the general reaction so let me give the example related to this one so the example is very simple to understand that is suppose if we have considered that is propyl benzene that is suppose if i have considered here benzene which is basically associated with that is ch2 ch2 ch3 which is nothing known as n propyl benzene over here so suppose if that undergoes a reaction with that is alkaline KMnO4 that is nothing but an oxidizing reagent so that is how basically this will convert into that is benzoate molecule and this is how basically the benzoate molecule has been produced while the rest of the alkyl group it will be converted into that is c double bond o o k that is nothing but known as potassium benzoate which on further reaction with that is dilute hcl we could find that is this K it would be replaced with the help of the H that has been provided with the help of a dilute HCl and that is how basically we could get that is benzoic acid that is nothing but benzene along with COOH so this is how we can produce an aromatic carboxylic acid so this all reactions were related to that is how we can prepare carboxylic acid by oxidation method for the aldehyde for primary alcohol and for alkyl benzene so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that is how we can prepare carboxylic acid and i hope i'll see you next time so till then don't forget to subscribe ekda channel thank you so much